Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This video is about how you can use the build wall element modifier from my geometry node assets. To use build wall element, we will need a wall that was made with the build walls modifier and something that we would like to array along that wall. To start with, let's make something to array along the wall. I'll add a cube, put a material on it and scale it down to a little detail shape. Then in the wall template object that's being used by the build walls modifier, we need to add a loose edge. You can usually do that just by duplicating one of the edges that's in the template, and by moving that edge around, we can control where the array will be placed in relation to the rest of the wall template. Then on the build walls modifier, we need to check the loose edges to curves checkbox. Once we do that, we'll be able to see the curve in our wall, and we can add the build wall element modifier. Initially, the curve will just disappear, so let's select our detail object for the wall element parameter on the modifier to resolve that. Once the object has been selected, the detail will be arrayed all along the length of our walls. Then there's some settings. Trim gives you control over how far away from the corners the elements will begin being arrayed. Tilt lets you rotate the elements around the curve. 0.5 is 90 degrees and 1 is 180 degrees. And you can go negative with that. Spacing controls how far apart each element is placed. And the spacing is always exact, so if the spacing doesn't divide into the length of the wall evenly, then half of whatever the remainder is will be added as a padding to, to each end of the, the curve. Those are the basic settings. Now I will edit the wall element again and add a second loose edge, this time at the bottom. Let's duplicate the build wall element modifier and select this column object as our element. On the first wall element modifier, if we uncheck the delete curve option, then the curve will still be used to array our detail cubes, but it won't be deleted afterwards. It will still be in the wall. This allows that curve to also be used by the second wall element modifier, as you can see, because we have these columns sticking up in the air. However, I would actually like to use the other curve that we added. So on the second modifier, just so we can see what we're doing, I will check the highlight edge box that will highlight the curve that's currently selected by the curve ID value. And by changing the curve ID to two, we will select the second curve, which is at the bottom of the wall. Then we can turn highlight off and edit our spacing a bit to get a nice result. And then whenever you add a new wall section, all the elements will get arrayed along with it, adding some nice details to the wall. And that's about it for the build wall element modifier. Um, it is the newest modifier in the collection, and I already have a list of new features and little fixes that I need to add to it. Um, for example, I'd like to be able to array random elements from a collection instead of just a single object, and just generally to have more control over it. So stay tuned for updates to this modifier. In the description, I have a bunch of links. You can visit my website where there are more details about all of my modifiers. I have a Discord server that you are welcome to join, and there are links to where you can purchase my Geometry Node assets if you would like to do that. And that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.